Hi guys, it's Fino, and uh, we're going to be doing a RimWorld game today. This is a game by Ludin Studios. It's sort of like an early access game. Uh, I backed them when they're on Kickstarter. I'll put the uh, link for that in the description. And uh, yeah, we'll start by creating a new world. Uh, change the seed a little bit. And this is what we get. So when we create a colony, we get to choose whereabouts we want to be. So uh, for example, this tile is mountainous, shows how much rainfall, stone type, uh, growing period for when you want to grow your crops, uh, average temperature, and uh, all that good stuff. So um, we'll save and finish that, and then I'll make a colony. Okay, so when you first load into the game, I decided to choose a random site from that uh, world map. We've got a forest with uh, large hills, but the the whole point in this game is you, you have to build a colonist on a uh, colony on this rim world that you land on, and then uh, survive against everything that the uh, the AI storyteller teller uh, throws at you. So you got to deal with that. Okay, so the three of you awake in a crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pod before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land in this unknown rim world. A piece of treasure ship, starship fall around you. You start making plans to survive. So this is where we're going to land. We have got in our colony, Lumi, the hunter, Rich, the miner, who looks to be naked, and Fabio, the architect. And you can randomize all these uh, colonies that you start off with. Oh, we got a dog as well. We got Wiz, a female Yorkshire Terrier. So uh, <laughs> I'm sure that's going to work out fine. So we're going to equip Lumi with the survival rifle because she's the hunter. I believe you can see how skilled the people are with uh, each task. So Rich has got shooting four. So Fabio's got one, okay, so we're going to equip Rich with the pistol and then Fabio gets the plasteel knife. And all these resources around here you can pick up and collect. So we've got silver, which is basically just like currency, med pack, well medicine, food, and some wood. So now we've got to decide where we want to actually build our base. I'm thinking um, because we're the closest to this part I think we're just going to start building it here so I'm going to lay down some plans ok so now I've, um, I've put down a little bit of uh, they're, they're going to mine into this this is going to be a little um, food area uh, we've got some grow zones we've got this one growing uh, I believe it's growing corn. This one will be growing potatoes, and this one will be growing rice. We've got a stockpile zone, so they're going to put everything that they would need in there. And we've also got a dumping zone. And uh, we've put that away from where they're going to live because sometimes you can end up with uh, dead bodies and stuff in uh, the dumping zone, and it, it makes the mood bad. So we're going to um, get them going on these tasks. I do believe that Rich, yeah, Rich is a miner. So he's going to be hacking away at that wall, getting that down. Fabio's planting things. And Lumi's just picking picking shit up. I'm not sure what actual use the dog is right now. I'm assuming that normally you get like a husky and you can actually go and hunt. But I'm guessing that the Yorkshire Terrier is just for comfort. Because it does not appear to be doing anything. Training. Obedience. Release, rescue, haul, needs. That's just got two needs. Human needs. Food, rest, joy, beauty, comfort, space, mood. I suppose mood's just the overall. But another thing we need to take care of is sleeping space. Because if you don't make beds, then we'll just wait forever. I'll say forever. Probably until they die. And then, uh, yeah, you'll end up losing. So we're going to go into furniture and need... I'm just going to get some basic sleeping spots for now. I'll work on some getting some bedrooms because they each want their own individual room, which uh, is quite annoying. But 
It's fair enough. They're going to be spending the rest of their life here. They might as well do it in comfort. Okay, down here we've got some steel and components. And components we need for uh, large um, electrical contraptions like um, solar generators. And we'll be making those uh, shortly because obviously they need power. We can use geothermal energy as well, but I think you've got to research that. Also, each colonist comes with um, certain like traits. So, um, Fabio is uh, incapable of dumb labour, which um, if you hover over it, it normally tells you what it does. I don't know, maybe not with that one. Uh, okay, and his other traits are too smart. Too smart for his own good. Fabio abhors the idea of gaining pleasure from chemicals. And Fabio is staggeringly ugly, which socially repels others. So, um, we'll have to remember that. Oh, look at everyone else. Incapable of none. That's good. Traits. Lou prefers to live in Estestium. She gets mood loss if she has a bedroom. That's too impressive. Interesting. Mimi's mind is physically out of tune with others. And she isn't as affected by psychic phenomena. That's that's good, I guess. I'm rich. Oh, we've got, <laughs> we've got two uglies. So that's good. At least they can talk to each other. At least they've got each other. And fast walker. So that's nice. Move speed. Plus 20. Why is there a pig? What, like, it's a wog. Just wondering inside his base, okay. As long as I don't kill anyone. What I do need to do, I need to collect this, um, this material. Because this is, um, compacted steel. So, that'll get us more, more materials to be able to build buildings. I think I'm going to build a building just out here, off the entrance of the base, so we've got a little bit more room. And it would appear that Fabio is not really pulling his weight in the, um, in the old colony, but he does have really high construction, so we're going to, um, he's an architect, but so that w we're going to order him to um, build some stuff. Might as well put him to work, seeing as he's not doing anything else. Okay, so that seems to be the first room. Uh, maybe keep some batteries in there to store power when uh, the sun's the sun's gone in at night. Um, <coughs> also, we need power to be able to use the um, nutrient paste dispenser, which makes food last longer, and so they don't have to eat like raw corn and raw potatoes. So yeah, that just makes it a lot easier. But it does need power, so and this building also needs a door. We're not gonna be able to get in. I'm going to make it out of wood. Okay, so while we're doing this as well, we will build a solar generator. Hopefully the one will do for now. We've got visitors. So every so often, um, visitors will come. Not only to trade, sometimes to try and take things. Sometimes try and kill you. But um, these are the factions we've got. So we've got two that are hostile, the rest are... Uh, you know, goodwill. So, uh, we'll see how this goes. Not only just come to look around, to be honest. Never really take your food. We'll see where they are. Jump to location. Jerbear. As you walk around. Ah, oh, okay. That little question mark means. No, we should be able to trade with him. Let's see what he's got. He's got... Ooh! Chicken egg. wonder if we can make chickens. Herbal medicine. St <laughs> steel spear. Awful condition. Um, You know what? We'll take some berries. Because why not? Everyone loves berries. Especially when you're starving. That's it. So we've got a solar power built. So now we're going to have to build power. This is like a wire. 
into the base. And I think I'm going to have my batteries at the end of this hall. I'm going to have to order good old um, Rich to uh, dig this out. We'll just dig like that. Is Rich actually naked? Um, yeah. I oh know he's got thin thread pants, apparently. I mean, I can't see him. Oh, Lumi's doing a little spot of cleaning. You could tell the board when they actually start cleaning. I mean, she has missed a bit, but, you know, whatever. I can't complain. Hopefully, tomorrow we'll actually be able to make them some lovely bedrooms. We get to name our um, our colony. So I'm gonna name it Fino Fino Land. Because why not? Oh, wizard's being attacked by a wog. So what you have to do is pause time. Click on Fabio if I can. Then I've got to press R to draft him. Let's go melee attack this wog. Same with Rich. Let's put my fire at the wog. Hopefully, we will not hit Wiz in the process. <laughs> oh. Wiz died. We weren't doing much anyway. But still, we'll be able to harvest this wog's meat. Everyone can just go back to the day to day. Can we, I think we might even be able to dig a grave. I'm not sure where it'd be. Furniture, misc. Here we go, grave. Then hopefully, we will be able to bury Wiz. Rest in peace, Wiz. You're a useless dog, but whatever. Can we get Fabio to... Not a cleaner. Where's... Lumi. Cannot bury Yorks Terrier Corp. No empty grave configured to store it. Is there a different type of grave? I guess not. Well, we're just gonna have to put him into the old, um, what's it called? Dumping stock pile. I feel bad having to put our dog into the, um, dumping stockpile. But okay, wh whatever. You know, uh, the rim world is a harsh place, but we'll, we'll make it through. Okay, so now we've got the battery room done. Uh, just got to put a few more cables in. Going to make some lamps. And then, uh, might even make another solar generator, because we've got... Ooh. We appear to have a local hare has gone mad. It'll attack everyone it sees. I think it's coming straight for us. I think we've got to fight on our hands. Fabio. Okay. Where's this goddamn rabbit? Is it that one? <laughs> I said that's more of a fight. Okay, everyone, uh, b back to work. Okay. I'm going to set Rich to do some more mining, see if we can get some bedrooms done. So eventually get to the point where um, we'll end up being able to recruit people, or if we get into fights with people, we can capture them, and then slowly convince them to become part of the colony. So we can grow that way, or sometimes people just randomly join. I think we can actually buy people, if like a slaver trip, a uh, ship comes past. So that's always something to look out for. I don't think we've got enough... I don't know how much a person costs, but we've got quite a lot of silver. 
Hopefully we'll get the rooms done tomorrow. We'll get a nutrient paste dispenser. Which will um, allow people to start eating again. Because apparently we need a meal sauce. And yes, the Yorkshire Terrier named Wiz found it to Lumi and has died. And uh, yeah. That's not too good. Okay, so now we've got this nutrient uh, paste dispenser that we'll be uh, building. And a hopper, so we can put food into it. And we need to haul some things. We really need to get these bedrooms done, because I think people are starting to get pissed off of uh, sleeping in the rain, but... He's got to deal with it for now, guys. You can't expect luxury just yet. Ooh -hoo. A villager named Knight has arrived and is joining the colony. He is a castaway. Some cool army you got there. Shooting, good melee, no social. And careful of social. So that's that's nice. Good growing, good construction. Oh, he's got a gun as well. Even better. Can't use it. But um you know. Fabio is throwing a party. Everyone who goes will gain joy and uh, social energy and a large positive mood boost. Is this the party? Where's my invite? Cool party. So now we need to work on it just increases the mood a little bit if you like you know make them a little table. A few chairs. Oops. I'm assuming they're having the party still, so that's why no work is going on. The party is finished, there we go. No, this guy didn't make it. We should have lit it. Now we need an extra room. This guy's ruined everything. Hopefully our crops are nearly done. 8% grown for the rice. 65% grown. Oh, that guy's having to sleep on the floor. Oh well. I'm sure he'll go over it. What Rich is doing is uh, cloud watching. Get back to work. I'm afraid that you can't um, get more visitors. You can't just cloud watch. I expect to get away with it. Not in this colony. There's work to be done. Looks like Lumi is harvesting the uh, raspberries, which is very important. Poor mood. Lumi, Hunter has broken down and is wandering around in a daze. Can I? She'll snap out of it. I mean, she's just lost a dog. She might be hungry. We don't know. Uh, I believe she's dropped a gun. The door broke, but I fixed that, so it doesn't really matter. Is she, is she back? Still dazed and wandering. She'll be fine. Oh. Oh, no. A raid. A group of pirates from the Apes of Violence has arrived in drop pods nearby. They are attacking immediately. With, with one... What have they got? They've got a steel shiv in awful condition, so... I do believe... We will be fine, but... This guy can't shoot, but he can stab. So where's where's Fabio? Ah! I mi <laughs> I accidentally misclicked and started telling Fabio to attack Knight. But no worries, we can we can fend them off still. Lumi is still in a daze. Fabio. I don't want na Fabio to get into a knife fight. I need him to move up a bit. Oh, a headshot. That's got to be that's got to be good. I'm gonna slow this down. I'm gonna get Fabio to Ah oh, there we go. Okay, she's down. Everyone can go back to uh, their life. But obviously we have um we have Kimmy who's just laying on the floor. She's she's wailing in pain. And what we can do is what I plan on doing is making a uh, a 
prison room, which requires it's got to be behind a door, and it's got to have a bed in it that is marked for a prisoner. But the problem with having a prisoner is they do take your food because you need to feed them, obviously, to keep them alive. Ah, uh, Lumi is still walking around aimlessly, which is brilliant. I think she's just taking off her clothes and um, gear. Yep, naked, but uh, why are these people going to leave? They must be nervous, like they're just going to attack me. And that lady's got a massive club that they both have. Whoa, more people are coming. I wonder if they would have helped us fight Kimmy. Anyway, okay, so we've got this building built. You put in a sleeping spot and then change that to prisoner. So obviously that's going orange. And then we will get knight to capture. Is Lumi back? I think she is. This is good. Colonist needs treatment. Knight needs a bed. Or is it Fabio that needs treating? Knight. Yeah, okay. We'll make him a steel bed. I feel bad that I accidentally got Fabio to stab him. But maybe you need a little bit of stabbing. And now we've got to make another room. Because, um... Kimmy, the prisoner, she's taking up an extra room. So we're going to build a corridor down here. I don't actually know what I've done. I don't want all it there. I'll try and mirror the last corridor. I really need some lights going up here as well. Fabio is slowly curing Kimmy. And now, you can only kind of quite gruesome injuries, such as losing arms and legs. Um, but... We can, we can get those back by, um, I believe it's in the research tree. Maybe it's not in the research, but... I mean, you can build, um, robot arms and stuff for your, uh, colonists, if, uh, if that's what they require. Which I'm hoping to actually do because it sounds pretty cool. I think you give them like robot eyes as well. Fabio. Treating them. I'm not going to try and buy anything from these guys because they're probably not going to have anything I want. They never really do. A disease? Kimmy has gotten sick from infection. The infection is in her left arm. Make sure that you have a medical bed and a doctor. Make sure that Kimmy gets proper treatment and spends as much time in bed as possible. I mean, she did try and kill us, so if she does die, it's not the biggest deal. And we're going to try and work on these rooms to um, improve our colonists' moods and riches of sleep. But hopefully we'll start mining away and hauling things and building things. Okay, so we've got quite a few of the rooms done. And I got Fabio Lumi in night sleeping in the lovely wooden beds. Uh, Kimmy appears to be on recovery and then we can select the prisoner. And so we've got no interaction with her. But now we can try and chat and recruit uh, Kimmy. So she joins the colony. I mean I know we did almost kill her. We we'll shot her in the head. She got an infection. She got bullet wounds. But I think she'll uh, she's a doctor. Which is good. We need someone who's good at treating wounds. While well, Fabio's been doing a pretty good job, I feel like a doctor would do it better. Severe illness. I thought Kimmy was... I thought she was healed. People are at risk of death because of severe illness. If possible, consider abusing or replacing the infected limb in order to keep colonists alive. I don't think we can do that. But what we can do is... We will give best quality medical care. Hopefully... To stay alive until the best quality medical care can actually arrive. But if not, if she dies, then we've got a prisoner room. An empty prisoner room. Okay, so let's have a look what we've got in the bedrooms. We have all the bedrooms are identical, as you can probably tell. Wooden bed. A little plant pot. Make them um, make light the room a little bit more. A standing lamp so they can, uh, well, you know, see. Um... We're going to have some more rooms appear eventually. And uh, we're going to end the video there. So uh, I'll be continuing with this colony. And we're going to leave it on a bit of a cliffhanger. We're going to, will Kimmy live? Um, 
will she be recruited? We don't know. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you next time. I'll be making episode 2 soon, so look out for that. And uh, thanks for watching.